Okay, I'm back out in the garage. Um, today is somewhere between Christmas 2023 and New Year's 2024. Uh, this will be the last video of the year, so uh, hard to believe is already the end of 2023. Um, so today I'm, I've got one of my friends who lives in Idaho is um, completing the, or I think he has completed the Idaho Master Forest Stewards Program. And uh, he lives on some acreage and he wants a sign to be able to put out in front of his property with the logos to, you know, to brag that he's completed the program. Um, let people know he's, you know, it's a managed forest. Um, anyway, uh, so he sent me a logo or a sheet with a logo on it. And I cut that down to the part that I think would be good for the sign. So you can see that. And then... Um, I realized that the pine cone on that is not going to cut and it would take a lot of work to make something look like that, but that same variety of pine cone and still cut it. So I uh, swapped it out with a different pine cone or I downloaded a free clip art pine cone and I cleared it with John. He's good with that. And uh, so I came up with this drawing and that's what I'm going to cut out. But, um, that's a good size sign. I think it's 10 by 16. So before I go cut out that big of a piece out of my 16 gauge, which I'm running low on, um, I'm going to do a scrap. So I took a piece of that drawing, the corner, so I'll have the pine needles, the pine cone, and some of the letters. And it's a much smaller test drawing. And I'm going to cut it out of this scrap, uh, 18 gauge I'm guessing it is. And uh, we'll see how that comes out before I cut the rest of it. And the other thing, uh, well, I'll show you what we're going to do with it as soon as I get it cut out. So hang in there. Uh, it's not just a simple sign. Uh, it could be fun to, anyway, we'll see what it does. Uh, so let me cut, get this set up, get everything turned on, and we'll cut this out. Okay, so I got this all set up and got it zeroed and, and set where I want it to be. So hopefully this will work out. Um, this is a, a test, the test corner of the sign. Again, cutting out 18 gauge, got 26 amps on the plasma, 155 inches per minute for the feed rate. And um, the kerf is now set, as you saw in an earlier video, the kerf is now set at uh, 0.035, which I think is more accurate. So let's cut this and see what it looks like. All right, so there's a little bit of warp due to heat. That was a lot of cutting. Uh, I think this will work. So next step is a field trip to the backyard. So see the thing is with this sign, well, let's, we'll, we'll show you in the backyard. All right, so we're on a field trip and made it to the backyard, which is just a one wall away from the garage where you guys always are. Um, so we're just stepped out into the side yard out of the garage. And uh, so this is how the sign came out. I'm pretty happy with it. 
I think getting my curve set on the on the arc droid was a good thing. So these little bridges are no no problem at all. Uh, anyway, so the sign isn't just a sign. I mean, worst case, he can hang it up as a sign, paint it, hang it up. Best case, he wants to be able to use it as a template to make signs for all the guys in the program, so um, they can hang it up. So he's not just a, a forester; he actually um, has a wood mill and. Uh, he takes his down lumber and turns it into lumber, or down logs and turns it into lumber. So he'll be able to, he won't have to use a, an old fence board like me, but uh, he can cut out a sign out of his milled lumber and uh, hopefully use the template to make a burnt sign. So that's the next step. We're going to play with fire. All right, so I brought my portable welding table out. And uh, this is a wet piece of uh, cedar fence. Just a scrap. I don't even know where it came from. But it was in the yard, so uh, let's move to one end. And we'll fire up the torch and see if this works. He may use paint too, I just think the torch... I like fire, right? So I think the torch idea is kind of cool. Let's see if it works. Who knows, the heat may distort the metal. Probably be better if we weren't using wet boards too, but. So first try, that's probably not going to turn out real good. Well, fire doesn't work that well. Maybe it's the wet wood. That's the only thing I don't know. All right, so that, I, I would call that a failure, <laughs> obviously. Let's try fire again. I think it might have been technique. I don't want to hang, it just um, give up on it altogether. Uh, trying one more time. If that doesn't work, then I'll go with uh, spray paint. Um, of course, metal's overkill for spray paint, but I think I just got too hot. Like after the first pass, it looks like it changes color pretty quickly, so. See if there's a technique that might work. No, yeah, that still looks like shit, so. <laughs> might be just back to spray paint. I don't know, like I said, spray paint's kind of, metal template's kind of overkill for spray paint, but it's still a sign too, so. Uh, in, its, uh, in, a, in and of itself, so. But let me go get a can of spray paint. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna try to dust it. It's not masked off and everything, so. It's probably not proper, but. And of course, the other downside is you'll have to clean the paint off of the metal every time. Well, I think I like that. Okay, if it's not one thing, it's another. So the full DFX, DXF for the sign is um, too big of a file to load into the arc droid, which we've all seen before. Um, so I went back on the laptop and in Inkscape and cleaned up as many unnecessary nodes as I could, uh, which was quite a bit. Uh, made the file size about a quarter, uh, you know, so three quarters of what it was, so a quarter smaller. Um, still too big. So the next step would be to, to divide the file into two pieces, which is what we're gonna do. So the first cut's gonna be the um, border and the pine cone and pine needles. And then I'll add the words back in um, as a second file. So first cut, main body of the sign, as you can see there. Second cut will be the words. And hopefully I can get those all lined up well enough. Shouldn't be a problem, but um, still gotta do it. And then uh, we'll cut that out. All right, so uh, all set up, um, torches ready. 
and let's see what happens. Okay, I've got the, uh, I've got it all laid out here. You can see what I did. Um, I, I was able to lift the metal off of the sign without touching it. It didn't move one bit. And I thought I'd take the opportunity to or, you know, take advantage of that. So I threaded a bolt down through the top and I'm hanging the ground from there, the ground strap. Ugh. So I don't have to accidentally move it trying to attach the ground to the actual metal here. So a um, little trick that maybe somebody can make adva take advantage of. Um, so my, my whole point in doing that is I tried not to move the sign at all because I don't want to change the, you know, so it'd be out of square. And hopefully the words will be square with the bottom of it. I mean, you can always line it up, but I have the ability to here to cheat a little bit, I think. and. Um, get it lined up just by default. So all I gotta do is put it on there and set the zero and I should be good. So that's what I'm gonna try to do now and let's see how it cuts. All right, so here we go. I got it all lined up the way I think it needs to be for the letters and uh, we'll run it and hopefully I don't screw it up because I'll have to run to the metal store. So this should be it. 30 amps, everything's running. Here we go.
All right, so uh, that's the garage time for today. Um, managed to make John's Idaho Master Forest Steward sign. I think it's going to be a spray paint template just from our little test with the uh, test piece. I tried fire, which by the way does give a nice coloration to the metal. And it, was, it wasn't a good way to do it. Um, it just burned underneath it. So went with the spray paint and that seemed to work pretty well. So a couple of tries of burning and then a try with the spray paint. And I think the spray paint is what he's going to go with. But that's up to him. I mean, he can just hang it, spray paint the whole thing, white, red, whatever he wants to do, and hang it on as a sign as well. But, but I think he's going to use it as a tool to... Uh, He's got a mill, so he'll mill out his own wood. He can make signs and give them to the rest of the forest steward people, the people from the forest stewards program. Um, this is another example of, um, it, I don't know if you have, but you will if you haven't. You will run into a situation where the arc droid can't handle all the, the data points. Um, this is a lot of different cuts, different turns and stuff in this pineapple. Pineapple, looks like a pineapple pine cone and uh, all this fonts. Uh, fonts are typically, you know, actual text when you just take a text in Inkscape and then turn it into a, a DXF are pretty clean. But this was actually a graphic. So it was sent to me as a TIFF, like a scanned in image. And then I, I converted it from using Inkscape, went from um, image to path and then combine them all. But in the end, it's kind of dirty. So you'll find that you can del de delete roughly half of the points in the path. Um, if it changes it, you know, control Z, undo it and put it back. But most of the time it won't even change anything. So it's a good tip. But in this case, uh, that didn't help. <laughs> Just the font itself was too much data for the arc droid to load. So I separated it in two files, had to clean up the text a little bit, even separate, just the Idaho Master Forest Sir Stewards text was too much, uh, too many points. So I cleaned those up and uh, cut them separate. So pine cone sign with the pine cone and the needles was a separate file from the words. So then I was able to um, cut them, cut them together, and make a single product. So that's that's it for today. Uh, hopefully, you got something out of that. If you enjoyed watching it, um, I know how entertaining I am. But if you enjoyed watching it, uh, please uh, comment below and uh, like it and subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Uh, yeah, your comments are welcome below. I, I always try to respond to them, and um, if there's something I'm just missing that. A point that you you have a question on great just put a comment i'll see what i can do to get an answer for you if i don't know i'll tell you that too because i'm definitely not the authority on arc droid i've just been using it for about a year so anyway uh appreciate you watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks